Read aloud with JJ. <laughs> Welcome back to another video of Raisin Happy Munchkins. I hope you like this one. Yes, this is a very different one because it's featuring me again, Mummy J, and this is JJ. We're reading another book for you. I hope you enjoyed the last book. If you missed the last one, it was Rosa Parks. So don't forget to tune in. You can always watch the last video um, where we read the book about Rosa Parks. Did you remember Rosa Parks? Yeah. Yeah, what was it about her? She didn't stand up from the seat and she went to jail. And when she came out, black people and white people could sit anywhere on the bus. That's right. And when she came out of jail, she didn't give up, did she? No. She carried on. All right, so we'll advise you to read that story with us. Uh, with Mummy J and JJ, check out the last video and read the story. Let's get cosy. Yeah, should we get cosy for yeah. the new story we've yeah. got? Let's get cosy. <laughs> right. Our second hero for Black History Month, our second black hero, drum roll, should we give a little drum roll? Our second black hero is none other than Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> I've read so much about Martin Luther King Jr. right from childhood. I bet you don't know who this is, do you? Mm. No. <laughs> right, so you're about to find out. We're about to read this story about another black hero, Martin Luther King Jr. Okay. Little Martin was a spiritual boy from Atlanta who came from a long line of preachers. His dad was a preacher, his uncle was a preacher, his grandfather was a preacher. Maybe he would become a great preacher too. One day, a friend invited him over, to play, over, over to play. Ma Martin. Martin was shocked when he saw, when he was asked to leave because he was black. That day, he ripped realized something terrible was going on oh that's not nice is it he was asked to leave he was asked to leave his friend's house there we are i don't know why he was asked to leave he was asked to leave sadly because back in those days black people and white people couldn't play together so the black children even though he had a friend that wasn't the same color as him they were not allowed to play together, so he was asked to leave, okay? This terrible thing was called segregation. It meant that public places like restaurants and buses had separate places for black and white people. Martin and his friends were sent to different schools. See that? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're so upset. He had to go to a different school and he had to go to a different school. Yeah? Martin believes that one shouldn't remain silent. silent or ac accept. accept something if it's wrong. He promised he, himself oh, that when he grew up, Healed. he'd try yeah. fight in injustice Good. with the most powerful weapon of all, words. Words. So the most powerful weapon of all are the words that we speak. And so he decided to fight with words. Do you know what injustice means? Mm. Injustice is when people are not treated fairly, their rules that are in place that are not fair, their laws and regulation that 
that don't allow people, that are not allowing people to be fair and treated the same. So he wanted to fight the injustice and segregation, but he wanted to use the most powerful tool, which was the words. Yeah? Let's show that. Martin studied at universities in Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Massachusetts, where he read about Mahatma Gandhi, the man who had improved the lives of millions of Indians with peaceful methods of protest. So he was trying to learn a peaceful way to protest to get his message across by not being violent, not being rude, but just getting a message across peacefully, yeah? So people don't get hurt. So he was reading and studying. But he threw all the books on the floor. No, no, he didn't throw them. It was just there on the floor them up because he read lots and lots of books okay when he finished, finished his study Ma Martin. Martin moved to Alabama and became the pastor of a church Good. in Montgomery Montgomery every Sunday from his pulpit, pulpit he um, encouraged, encouraged his co congregation. congregation to speak up about things that mattered. There he is. One evening, a woman called Rosa was arrested for refusing to give up her seat, do you remember her? Yeah. <laughs> to a white man on a bus. Martin asked the people in his community not to take the bus again until the law was changed. There we are. We remember the story about Rosa, Rosa Parks, in the last video that we posted. Definitely watch that video where we read the story of Rosa Parks. So after Rosa Parks was jailed and arrested and jailed, Martin asked the rest of the community not to take the bus again until they changed the law. So everybody started walking and walking. Many citizens were inspired by Rosa's story and Martin's words. Suddenly, buses were almost empty. They stayed empty for more than a year until segregation on Montgomery's buses finally ended. So even the white people that could get the bus decided to start walking so that there could be a change. So the buses were all empty. Nobody wanted to take the bus until the rule was changed. So everybody walked, even in the rain. Even when it's snowing. Even in the rain, Christmas. even in the snow, even Christmas, they walked and walked. It was the first major civil rights action in America, but not the last. Martin encouraged people all over the country to stand up for their rights and join in with peaceful protests. They were often, often at attacked Good. and Martin was arrested 29 times. 29 times. Yes, he was arrested 29 times. Yes, that's a lot. Right, but? But he, he and his followers never fought back with warrant. With force. with force. So he was arrested 29 times and he and his followers never fought back with force. So they never got violent, yeah? Mm -hmm. And they never hurt anybody. He knew that hate can't drive out hate, only love can. I have. Martin helped to organise a protest march on Washington where he gave a life-changing speech. It began with four simple yet powerful words. I have a dream. Say it. I, I have, have a, a dream. dream. And I can see that there. Yeah, I, I have, have a dream. dream. There we are.
The next year, Martin became the youngest person to win the Nobel Peace Prize. His words of hope, peace and justice called a nation to change its laws, to change its laws and make them equal for everyone. So finally, finally what he did caused the laws to change. So the law that said that people couldn't like be in the same place at the same time, the black and white children couldn't play together or couldn't visit each other's houses, that law changed because Martin um, had that protest and his dream was that one day everybody will be treated equally despite of the colour of their skin, yeah, or where they come from or what they look like. Yeah. We should all be treated equally and fairly. Now the law has changed because of these heroes, because of these black heroes like Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King that fought for justice. Yeah. Was that a long, long time? That was a long, time. long time ago. And I'm going to tell you what year it was right at the end. Let's keep reading. What does that say? And if you listen to your heart, you can still hear little Mar Martin asking you to keep his dream alive. That's right, so you can still hear little Martin asking you to keep his dream alive. A dream of a world where we are all judged by our character, not by the colour of our skin. So we're judged by the way we behave and who we are, what we do, and not by the colour of our skin, right? I have a dream. There we are. So I'm going to read now about Martin Luther King he was born in the nine it uh, was born in 1929 and he died in 1968 is that when he was in jail yes that's when he Martin was in Luther jail. King Jr was born Michael in Atlanta Georgia but later changed his name to Martin growing up in a family of pastors Martin quickly learned to tell the difference between right and wrong he happily his happy childhood gave him what he called a strong determination for justice and an optimism that cut through the segregated world he was born into. When he was old, when he was old enough to leave home to go to university, he combined studies of religion with the teachings of, of Gandhi a leading activist who chose to protest with peaceful demonstration, not violence. Martin learned from this, from this and discovered that his writing and speeches were the best ways to change people's hearts and minds. One of the first opportunities to, one of his first opportunities to do so was a pastor of the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church in Montgomery. Alabama. There, his passionate sermons inspired a new sense of hope. At the same time, he also became the leader of the first African American non violent demonstration, started by Rosa Parks, known as the Bus Boycott. The protest lasted 382 days and following that time the supreme court of the united states declared that both black and white americans should ride the buses as equals over the next 10 years martin traveled more than six million miles catching the attention of the world with his dream where children would not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character Martin's dream continues to inspire us to action today. The end. That's the story of Martin Luther King. Now, do you know his dream? Yes. Right. I have a dream. Now, Martin Luther King's dream was that our children, back then he dreamt that the children will be treated fairly, not by the colour of their skin, but by the content of their characters. So by the things that people did wrong or right, they should be treated 
in accordance to that and not by the colour of their skin. He also fought for segregation. And so because Martin kept fighting and didn't give up and he was never violent, um, he definitely won prizes and he was able to change some laws and the law of segregation disappeared and people can come together um, as one. So thank you, thank you to our late, to the late Martin Luther King Jr. And yes, the dream lives on. We have that dream, dream that one day our children will be treated equal and not judged by the colour of their skin, but by the content of their character. If you enjoyed that video, please click subscribe below. below. Click the subscribe button. If you liked what you heard in this video, click the like button. And if you'd like to let more people and show more people more about heroes such as Martin Luther King's, please share this video. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. See you See next, next week. Bye-bye.